Canada Field. It is Memorial Day this weekend, and we have a very special and important message for you. We want you to be safe this holiday weekend. And for more on that, here's our own Jeremy Taché with Sergeant Steve Gaskins of the Florida Highway Patrol on the dangers of drinking and driving. What are some of the impacts that impaired driving has on our community daily? Well, unfortunately, here in the Tampa Bay area and across the state and the nation, uh, it affects a lot of people. Uh, you know, tens of thousands of dollars of property damage, thousands injured, and we also have a lot of people that are killed with drunk driver crashes. And Sergeant Gaskins, could you tell us some of the consequences of a DUI? <clears throat> uh, an average DUI, just to start off with, one of your first DUIs, you're looking at upwards of ten dollars to $15,000 in jail time, of course. Uh, you know, driving record issues where your license is suspended. Um, a lot of places, they'll fire you. So uh, you could actually lose your job. Uh, if you get into multiple DUIs over the course of your driving uh, career, uh, you're looking at even longer suspensions, bigger fines, uh, prison time. And if somebody's seriously injured or killed, you could be spending decades in jail. So again, it's not worth the risk. Someone somewhere will help you get home, okay? If, even if, if you're out in a bar, for example, reach out to the bartender and say, hey, you know, help me find a ride home. But more importantly, plan to get home safely before you start the drinking so you have a plan in place to get home. And what does an impaired driver look like on the road? Well, actually, much like the uh, distracted drivers that we keep hearing about uh, from a lot of the public, uh, we, we see drivers failing to maintain a lane. Uh, they're you know, weaving back and forth. Uh, they're driving too slow, too fast, driving without headlights at night, uh, failing to stop for stoplights and stop signs. And of course, we have our wrong way drivers here that in the last five, six years have been a very serious issue, especially for Tampa Bay, uh, where the, the drivers that are severely impaired driving for miles and miles in the wrong direction. How can we as drivers help if we see an impaired driver? If you see an impaired driver, uh, an aggressive driver, an impaired driver, if you think there, there's something wrong, if you see something, say something. Uh, call your local police department, your sheriff's office. Call 911. Do not hesitate to call and say, hey, there's a drunk driver. He's weaving all over the road. For the Florida Highway Patrol, you can call Star FHP, Star 347. That number is good throughout the state of Florida, so you can reach out to our comm centers that are stationed throughout the state. What are some good pointers for planning ahead in these scenarios? Uh, again, plan your events. Like if, you, if you're having a big barbecue uh, on uh, Memorial Day, if you're going to the beach, if you're out on the boat, um, you know, plan to do so safely by having a ride already in play. If you know you have to travel to your point of entertainment, have the plan in place before you start drinking to get home safely. Because the first thing to go when you start drinking is your judgment, your ability to make good judgment calls and reason. And so if you have that plan in place, if you have that app on your phone to get your favorite ride sharing opportunities, um, have the designated driver. And again, the designated driver is not the one that drinks the least, it's the one that drinks nothing. And what would you tell a person going to a get together or to the beach over the holiday weekend? Uh, hey, this is sunny Florida. We want you to enjoy the state, all the state of Florida has to offer, and especially the Tampa Bay area here where I'm stationed at. Uh, but again, do so safely. I want everyone to have a great time, enjoy your Memorial Day, but I want you to all get home safely and not hurt yourself or somebody else. It's not worth the penalties, it's not worth the regret that you'll experience throughout your life. Thank you so much, Officer Gaskins. Enjoy your weekend, but enjoy it responsibly. It's still to come.